Baldur's Gate 3 won't get a sequel or DLC from Malarian, Dand being dropped for something new. Needless to say, Baldur's Gate 3 has been a success beyond anybody's wildest expectations, racking of GOATI awards and over 10 million in sales. So what's next for the game's developer Larian Studios? More content for Baldur's Gate 3 followed by Baldur's Gate 4, right? Strike while the iron's hot. Well, about that. At a GDC 2024 panel, Larian CEO Swinfink made the surprising announcement that the company is moving on from Baldur's Gate, Dungeons and & Dragons, and the Forgotten Realms setting. That is to say, they aren't making Baldur's Gate 4 and there won't even be any major DLC for Baldur's Gate 3. We're not going to make new expansions, which everyone is expecting us to do. We're not going to make Baldur's Gate 4. We're going to move on. Vink went on to say that Larian's next thing will be something new, which would seem to imply they won't be going back to their previous Divinity series, which was popular in its own right, but nowhere near as successful as Baldur's Gate 3. It's certainly atypical for a studio to move on to something new after scoring a major hit, to the point one wonders if the relationship between Larian and Dan on our Wizards of the Coast has soured somehow. Of course maybe Larian just wants to fully own the rights to their next thing, if it ends up being anywhere near as popular as BG3, that would be very lucrative for them. Of course, Baldur's Gate didn't begin with Larian. The first two entries were developed by BioWare, and Wizards of the Coast owns the IP, so in Baldur's Gate 4th of May happen, Larian just won't be involved. Anybody who tries to step into their shoes will have their work cut out for them. Baldur's Gate 3 can be played on PC, Xbox Series X, S, and PS5. What are your thoughts on Larian's decision? Are you sad BG3 is a one and done? Or would you rather see Larian move on to other things?